What's up, people? Back at it again. Back at it again. I was, you know, I'm sorry, I was trying to get the, I'm saying the full shuttle going. But um, today we're going to be getting into a video called "Who Can I Run To?" Nah, who is your best friend? Who your best friend? Who your best friend? Hey, who your best friend? Get it? Hey. So yeah, today's video is gonna be called "Who's Your Best Friend." I'm on some silly tip right now, so forgive me. But stay tuned. We're gonna be back. Ah! So I wanted to do a quick video to find out just what people thought about their relationships and best friends. And why is that? Because a lot of times, you know, we'll call people, hey, that's my man, that's my homie, that's my best friend, that's my N-I-G-G-A, that's my B-I-T-C-H, all of those things. We'll say these things, that's my homies, that's my peoples, but sometimes they're really not your best friend. So really, who? I mean, like, who is your best friend? Just think about it like this. Who has your best interests at hand when you're angry, moody, poor, upset, tired, sick, effed up, frustrated, depressed, whatever the case may be, who has your best interests at hand? Take your time. All right, all right, too much time. If you haven't guessed it by now, you, it is you, you, you are your best friend. You, you gotta understand. I mean, I know it's gonna sound crazy, even if you don't believe me. Let me explain. Name one person outside of yourself or an animal or name anything outside of your phone and your te technological devices. Name one person or animal outside of you that's with you 24 seven. I'll wait again. Too much time. <laughs> nobody, there's nobody there except you. Who knows all your deepest and your darkest secrets, your fears, your everything? Who knows? Nobody but you. So basically what, it, what I'm breaking it down to is that you are your best friend and you have to start treating yourself like your best friend. I'm not suggesting for you to go out and cut people off and say, you're not my best friend, I'm my best friend. I'm not suggesting anything like that at all. But what I am saying is that you need to be able to start taking care of yourself for you. So. Let's use a relationship, for example, an intimate relationship. So you've been begging your significant other for the past month or so to go see this movie that's out. And you know that your significant other really doesn't want to see the movie because they've been procrastinating. They've been making excuses. They've been giving you the entire runaround as to why they're not going to go to the movies with you. So what you have to do is go to the movies by yourself. And I'm not even saying go with somebody who wants to go with you. Start doing things by yourself. Hi, right, could I have a table for one, please? Thank you. There's nothing wrong with that. We are, in society have been conditioned for codependency. Leaning on somebody's shoulder, making it a little more easy. It's easy, but that's really not what life is about because we all go through our own mental traumas, tribulations, and trials by ourselves. We can get help and seek help from others and get other people's opinion, but at the end of the day, we gotta deal with it, nobody else. You gotta deal with it just like I gotta deal with it, just like he got it. Everybody gotta deal with their own struggles. If your body is aching and Nobody can massage it. Go get a massage from the spa. If your feet, if your feet looking a little rough, you know what I'm saying? You was walking on, you know, bricks, so you was walking on stones. Go get a pedicure. There's nothing wrong with that. You gotta go to work on Myra's feet. Mm -hmm. uh. Pamper yourself, treat yourself, love yourself because you are your best friend. This includes the number one thing that we hate to do. A lot of people are gonna maybe challenge this, but people don't like to work out. God, are you all right? <laughs> oh my God. I don't know what it is about it. I know it could be like a chore or something like that, but it actually feels good. You're releasing endorphins. The endorphins are released to go to your brain and it makes you feel good. So working out actually helps increase these things. And we will go and admire other people's body. We'll body shame other people. We'll do all of these things, but we won't even work on our own body so that we can feel comfortable with ourselves and be comfortable in our own skin. If you fat, and you don't want to work out, then you got to get comfortable with being fat. And I will not be late. She might be my mate. It's nothing wrong with being fat. I'm just going to say straight out. You beautiful. You fat and beautiful. Period. If you skinny and you look like you haven't eaten a good meal 
or a whole meal, you look like you only eat snacks and you haven't had food in the last three years, you beautiful, you skinny, skin and bones, you, you, you beautiful. You gotta get comfortable with being skinny. If you don't wanna work out and eat more, you don't wanna put weight on, then be comfortable with you. You are your best friend. The truth is looking good and feeling good are usually interconnected. So we can really find out a lot of different ways to really treat ourselves good just by the things we do. And it doesn't require anyone to do so. If you start treating yourself good and you start treating yourself like a best friend, and you have this internal feeling of goodness, that's gonna be reflected in your outer world and people are going to see that and they're gonna to have to either, one, start treating you good the way that you're treating yourself because there's certain things you're not gonna stand for or two, they're gonna slowly exit or quickly exit out of your life because they realize that, hey, I can't treat this person like anymore. I gotta actually treat them good because they look like they're not standing for any of this. They treat themselves good. Why would they want anything less for me? Usually, we treat ourselves so bad that if somebody treats us a little less worse than we treat ourselves, we'll keep them around in our life. But if they treat us a little bit worse than we treat ourselves, we're gonna kick them out. Because if somebody's treating you worse than you treat yourself, they gotta go. Same applies in reverse. If you're gonna treat yourself good, you're not gonna allow anybody to treat you worse. You're gonna have to allow them to treat you better or the same way you treat yourself. People start to respect you more. You'll find more opportunities. Basically, you'll start living your life fully because you're appreciative of you, you. and everything around you. And everything starts within you not outside and around you, it's within you. So when you start to appreciate the you within you, everything else is a piece of cake. That's the hardest thing to do. Appreciate you, work on you, fix you, change you, do you. It's the hardest thing to do, but you are your best friend. You are the only person that is gonna be there the entire way. The entire movie is for you. You are the director and the actor simultaneously. So you gotta start acting like it. If you like this video, please subscribe at the bottom. Hit that subscribe button. Leave some comments in the section below. Cinematics Media, follow my IG. I will leave those links below. Check out my music. I dropped the album a couple of months ago. Check that out. I got a book on Amazon called Digital Communications Etiquette. Check that out. I also have a communications webinar that teaches the actual processes of communications. That happens to be one of my specialties. But if you're not interested in all that, just subscribe, do me a favor, la 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 la. See you later. Bye. Assassin, I be black and with no distraction. My passion is just so Christly, it's everlasting. Nigga, no lacking. You say you trapping, no rapping. Who they attracting? With lines of fashion and matching, talking, they stacking. Look around, I don't believe you. You trying to hide, but your style I can see through. Waves on tsunami, like a bad sea do. No hide and seek when I play just to meet you. Calling people, they make a visit to see you. Say bye to the deuce, it's a sequel. Huh. The house of lies had the party jumping. All I seen was three rooms. I ain't seen.